What's going on you guys, this is MXKDI here, another Dell Optiplex 5050, this is the small form factor, going to be upgrades, so I'm going to switch to the other side, remove the side cover panel, there's a little clip you press on the left right here, and what we're going to do is going to be starting off, what you're going to do is you have to remove the front cover basil here, there's a little clips, you finger gently press them up like this, and you're gonna do is disconnect right here for the hard drive cage and right here you're gonna press to the left to unlock and what you're gonna do is uh, you're gonna move the hard drive disconnect the stadium power cable I'm gonna be upgrading to two terabytes it's only got 500 gigs in here And connect back the SATA and power cable back. And now I'm going to show you guys how to upgrade to Soul State Drive. So, what you're going to do is disconnect again the SATA and power cable and remove the hard drive 3.5 inch. And what you need to do is you have to get this caddy, plastic caddy, it's for Dell, it's a 3.5 inch to 2.5 inch. And you can use any solo state drive you want, fits like this, or you can use, this caddy will also work with a 2.5 inch laptop hard drive. So it slides like this. You do it, just connect it like that, and... And you're done, just clips it back in. And just like that, and install it back. You're done. This is how you upgrade to Soul State Drive. So I'm gonna go and disconnect the uh, power and SATA cable, and we're gonna have to remove the, we're gonna upgrade the memory. So to do that, you have to remove the hard drive cage here. Slides out like this. And we upgrade the memory, guys. This is uh, 16 gigs. It's got only 4 gigs in here. I'm going to be using the match pair memory. And the memory you guys can use is a DDR4 2400 or DDR4 2133 90cc. On buffer memory for desktop. And the memory I like is the Car Carcer, Kingston, and Crucial. Those are the top three brands. And when you install the memory properly, you're going to hear two clicks. Uh, yeah, the memory I'm installing here, guys, is a 4 gig per each, uh, per each slot. But it supports up to 16 per each slot, so it'll support maximum of 64 gigs of memory. So I'm going to upgrade the memory, now I'm going to go ahead and install back. The hard drive cage here. And I'm installing back the, the caddy, plastic caddy here for the hard drive. Now I'm going to do is connect back the front cover basil here. And will be the last part guys is for the light gaming. It's got a 180 watt power supply in here. And what I'm going to be doing upgrading is the GTX GeForce GTX 1050 Ti. This is the low profile video card. And so I'm going to show you guys. Uh, and this is the video card I'm going to be installing. It's a GeForce GTX 1050 Ti with uh, this low profile with low profile bracket. It's got a both. Uh, Two HDMI ports, one display port, one DVI port. So I'm gonna do is uh, switch to the other side so you guys can see better. And I'm gonna be installing the video card through PCI Express times four slot right here because this is the video card where you're gonna be installing the video. We can install the video card here because it will not fit. So the PCI Express is low, times 16 slot is located in the bottom 
but the video card is using two slots so we can only install the video card here through PCI Express times four slot right here this will slow down the video card because of the bandwidth so what we're gonna do is remove the blatch right here remove the low profile PCI brackets and install the video card And you're gonna put the latch back on, lock it back, and you're done. Now you're gonna lock back the side cover panel back on. And this is how it's gonna look like when you install the video card. So it's got this machine has both guys is a HDMI port, two display ports, serial port, VGA port, PS, PS2 for the keyboard and mouse. Four USB 3.0 ports, two USB 2.0 ports, and gigabit LAN right here, and audio out. Pretty nice machine, small phone factor. So guys, this is the end of the video. I'll do I'll upload all the video for the teardown and uh, the separate video for the process upgrade. I'll be separate video. I'll be uploading. So guys, this is the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.